you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dez. I go by Dez B. And you have stumbled across my channel or you're here on purpose. As you've noticed, I have actually switched lenses of my camera again because I kind of like this lens a little bit more. Let me know what you think. I am just getting ready, got done working on my computer, got my coffee, ate my breakfast, and I'm about to go work an event today for Martini and Rossi, which is a sparkling, not even sparkling. It's a real wine. <laughs> a real wine. I have like this small like mini job where I'm working for Bacardi now or Team Enterprise. And so I do small like on and off premise tastings and like stuff like that. So the other weekend I worked for Grey Goose. This weekend I'm working for Martini and Rossi. And then I'm doing that next weekend as well. Just kind of a fun thing. But I'm going to be taking you guys through my typical day, showing you what's going on. And also showing you guys my new Zaffle haul. All those clothes over there. I am currently in my robe, as you guys see. So hang around because it's gonna get better, okay? This is what I'm wearing to my event. Black cocktail dress. It's kind of like what I'm supposed to wear. And I got this from Fashion Nova a few months ago, actually. But as you can see, it's like a little bit like cut, a little plunge. I think it looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna wear maybe like wedges with it or something. I don't have to wear heels, but I feel like when you're wearing a cocktail dress, it looks better to be like a little elevated. Quads. <laughs> event it actually went really good I just handed out samples of um, Osti wine which I learned is a sweet white wine I think so this is a cute I feel really cute I feel kind of like 70s retro a little fun a little fresh I don't know Wyatt and I are now on our way to go look for our wedding registry at Bed Bath & Beyond and to my understanding we get to just like boop Boop, 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 but I'm not sure. So here we go. She had to drop off some keys. Okay. I'm so hard. <laughs> Uh -huh. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> God, right in my oh, eye. Sorry. Okay, so she had to step away, and so she gave me. So, what do we want to scan, Wyatt? I do kind of want one of these. I know we don't know our dimensions, but what's the harm? I feel like there's not. I feel like what's there's the no reason point? to. What? I think there's no reason to. Oh, we actually, while we're here, we need a filter. No, we just need it to buy. Oh, God, what'd you do? I don't know. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> just got finished oh my gosh did we have fun it was fun it, it was, was pretty fun it was so cool to go around with the little zapper and just be like burr, burr, burr. um i hope you looked when we crossed the street because i didn't <laughs> Okay, so sushi was um, obviously a success. So good. We came, we conquered very fast. In like 10 minutes. So. Yeah. Oh, this lighting though. What's up, girl? Mm. We're now heading home. Uh, we're actually watching this new series on Netflix. It's called The Innocent Man. If you guys have not watched Making a Murderer yet, 
this is your free advertisement to tell you to go watch that. But The Innocent Man is kind of founded on the same like thoughts, so whatever. <laughs> Champagne, he's changing her name. <laughs> I'm just so special. It's not drinking alone if the dog is home. <laughs> Loves, we are just getting done cleaning the apartment. My mom and my little brother come in today. I'm so excited. Enjoy the puppies. But I'm wearing yet another outfit from Zaffle and I will be getting into the review slash haul right meow. So bear with me, but I am gonna start with this outfit and just like showing you, okay? So please don't mind my slippers and my dog. But this is yet another outfit from Zaffle. Sorry that my hair doesn't look as cute either. I promise this would be a very like cute outfit altogether. This is a nice bell sleeve, yeah, bell sleeve crop top. And you can make it as high or low as you want depending on how you lengthen the string. I really love this blue color, really fun, and it's not heavy, so it's very light. You can wear it in all different climates. And the skirt I have is a little bit different for me because it is longer. I am so self-conscious of my calves. I have none and so I usually don't wear stuff like this but I'm thinking it'd be really cute with some flats the one thing I will say about this is if you guys can tell like I don't know what the hell they were on at the factory but like I'm not sure like what's going on here so I probably won't be wearing this out like or with something tucked in but in this case this kind of covers it so it takes away from it but yeah I'm not sure it's like they literally added too much fabric. I'm just so confused. These are a huge win. You can see they're very stretchy. They're really nice hugging material. They're cut short in the front and they dip low to cover the booty in the back. They have a nice zipper here that goes all the way up. They are high-waisted and like I said they're actually really really comfortable. Next. Again with another shirt that I got. Um... It was in the packaging, so it's obviously not like steamed or relaxed right now. It's a little bit, you know, a little messed up. Ultimately, I, I don't know if this is supposed to be flowy. You know what I mean? I don't know if I got the wrong size or I don't remember. Really, this is cute for like high waist flowy shirt. It does feel really relaxed. It almost feels oversized again, but I'm not sure if it's, if it's my doing of the wrong size or what. Hmm. I don't know, what do you guys think? I do like the yellow color, it's just, I don't know, just don't know if it's working. Okay, so here is a two-piece outfit. I'm not necessarily hating this. It did look a little bit different in the pictures. I think this would be cute if I did my hair a little bit differently. I had like maybe some wedges on. It's definitely not bad. I do like the fit. You can see it's just like this really cute crop top and then more of a high-waisted skirt. So it's not super revealing because you it is really high-waisted here, so it kind of just flows into almost a one-piece. Um, definitely feels very thin. Not necessarily a bad thing. Overall, I would definitely say I would wear this out. I think I would wear this out. So I'm really loving this dress. This has to be probably my second favorite, if not my favorite outfit now. I bought this dress because even though I live in Florida, I will be going back to Michigan for my sister's gender reveal party. So I wanted something cute that I could wear in the Michigan weather because I know it's going to be cold as heck. This is a really cute body fitting dress. I absolutely love the detailing down the side. This fits really well. I have a little bit of a turtleneck here, but it's not too like 80 year old, if you know what I'm saying. This fits really well. I love it, it feels really comfortable. Again, here you guys can kind of see what it looks like. I'm really loving this look. I think that it's fun. Overall, huge win, highly recommend. Okay, so before I show you guys the biggest flop that I received, this is the last crop top that I have and these are the shorts from last night. Sorry, I just did like an accidental crotch grab. Don't know what that just was, but I got these 
And I wore these last night. As you guys saw, these were a huge hit. You guys were all asking about them on my Instagram. And again, I really do like this pair of shorts. Definitely a win. And this last is kind of a crop top. I have to kind of hold my camera down here, but it's an, uh, definitely an off the shoulder. I think it's really cute. Um, it's kind of hard to wear a bra with. I just had to like put my straps down, but ultimately it's still fun. You could probably pull it up a little bit, but like, to be honest, my arms are too big, my shoulders, so. <laughs> Again, it's kind of what it looks like. You you really can't mess up a black shirt, guys, but whatever. This is what it looks like. <laughs> this is the biggest flop item. I got this skirt, and it's supposed to be like an overall idea, right? So you attach them, and it's like overalls skirt. I got so excited, and I went to put it on. Guys, they didn't even cut the fabric nothing is cut into so i cannot physically put it on what the heck right i'm not and i'm not stupid either there's just literally no no cuts into the fabrics so obviously i can't put those on which is really frustrating because that was probably one of my most excited things to like get in the mail i was like yay like i'm gonna have like a cute overall skirt didn't happen. So I did email them and ask them like, what the heck? So I'll let you guys know in the future how that customer service went, but I haven't heard back yet. However, it was the weekend. So I have two more things to try on. I have one bikini and one one piece, which I'm really excited about. Well, okay. Sorry, did not mean to zoom in. Those are the last two pieces I have to conclude this haul at a total of, I think it was $260. All the links are gonna be in the description below, but let's jump into these last two items. This is definitely a hard no from me. I don't really understand what's going on with these. And I also look like I have a tail. What? So I might just be doing this wrong in terms of like how to tie it up, but it's still just like not very flattering on me. It's kind of loose in this like high V. Yeah, I'm just not digging it. It's a little bit too much cleavage here for me too. I'd, I'd be okay if it was like a full one piece, but this is just not working. You guys can see a little bit more. Absolutely love the color, love the design. I don't know. This is just not my jam. So this last one I was really hoping would fit me well, and it definitely is. I'm super duper bloated from a lot of sushi last night and my dinner that I literally just ate before this. Don't know why I did that, but I don't really care, so whatever, welcome. This bikini is super cute. I absolutely love it. It has a adjustable back here where you can tighten it up, and it is a little bit more cheeky, but I do like the style, you know, when I'm not around family. I think that it's really cute. It is a low rise, not necessarily my favorite look. It just looks a little too minimal for me, but in terms of the top, I like the top. The thing with these suits is that they're so cheap. You can easily use the top and mix match with a bottom, so I'd probably wear like a high-waisted black bottom with this or a tieable black bottom with this. I think both of those would look really cute. I would still wear this like by myself at the pool by myself. Well, that concludes this try-on video again of my 250, 60 dollar Zappa haul try-on. I hope that you liked it. I will be editing this video right away so it will be up by this coming week or you know by the time you see this it'll be up very soon. <laughs> I'm just going to spend the rest of the night editing this, going over some client stuff, having a few coaching calls and then I actually get to go pick up my mom and my little brother from the airport so whew, I got a lot to do after this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit of like a crazy vlog. You got just a lot of stuff going on, but I'm glad to have you here. Make sure that you click the thumbs up button and that you subscribe so that you never miss a video from me. I'm so excited to have you guys here. YouTube has just been so fun for me lately, and I hope that you guys are feeling the same energy because I'm enjoying it, and I hope that you are too. Also, let me know if you guys prefer this lens or if you could tell me if you noticed a difference if you liked it a little bit more i feel like it's more crisp but again that's me watching the same video like 900 times editing it and then overlooking it so let me know i love you guys thanks for coming to my room thanks for coming to my zaffle haul now i have to clean all this up and i'll see you in the next video you're a mean one mr grinch you really